These headlines are everywhere, in every newspaper and on every news station. Decisions in the monetary sector have a profound effect on you, me and everyone else in the country every single day. In fact, they also affect everyone South Africans do business with. But what does this all really mean? How does it work? To understand the significance of all these decisions, we first have to understand the role that money plays in the economy. So perhaps our first question should be, what is money? Money allows me to buy the things I need. Like food, mm -hmm. drink, allows me to petrol for my car. You exchange money for, for goods. Yeah, you use it to buy things. And that is one of the functions of money. It's a medium of exchange. Imagine a world without money. How would we acquire the things we need to live? Well, you'd probably have to barter. Try to trade the things you own for the goods and services you need. OK, so unless you own lots of valuable possessions or skills that you could trade, it might be a little difficult. Money may not buy happiness, as the saying goes, but it certainly helps to pay for just about everything else. Actually, the concept of money is not as simple as it first seems. We all know what it is, but to define it is tricky. So maybe we can start by saying money is what money does. A more formal definition would be that money is anything that is generally accepted as payment for goods and services or anything which is accepted in settlement of debt. But it has other functions as well. To illustrate another function of money, I'll ask you what's worth more, a bar of chocolate or a bar of gold? Well, a bar of chocolate costs about six rand. And a bar of gold costs... It depends on the size and weight of the gold bar and the price of gold on any particular day. Today's gold price stands at 903.9 US dollars an ounce, which is about 7,683 rand at today's exchange rate. So, a little bit of gold, weighing the same as the 100 gram, or 3.21 ounce bar of chocolate, which we bought for 6 rand, will cost 24,662 rand and 43 cents. What's important here is that we can compare the prices because both are valued in the same terms, in rand. So we can say that money is a unit of account. It's a tool that allows us to compare the value of things. In this case, we can conclude that gold is worth more than chocolate. The last function of money is that it is a store of value. If you hold money in your wallet for a year, or in a bank, or maybe even under your mattress, you'll still be able to use it to buy something at the end of the year. Now this leads one to ask, 